Um, so like I said yesterday, I wanted to do a quick Jarvis video um, before I have to go do some dog walking. Um, so the painting I'm doing today, I doubt you guys will be able to see this. It's just a little ghosty one. Um, I did some glow-in-the-dark splatter paint. Um, just because I really, I got this glow-in-the-dark paint and I really wanted to do something with it. So I figured, you know, Halloween, let's do something Halloween. Um, so I'm gonna do the outline of that. I'm still trying to think of other things I want to add to it. Like, obviously I know I can add other, um, Halloween stuff to it. But I guess I just gotta decide, like, where. Because I did the splat paint first just because I wanted to get it done and over with. I know that sounds kind of dumb. Um, let's see if we can see Diesel. Sorry for my bed being all messy. There he is. Sleeping his heart away. Alrighty. So let's get to this. Actually, I'm going to... That. I'm going to go close my door. You guys might see my cool outfit. I'm just kidding. I am wearing literally what people wear to the gym. Okay. I just didn't know if you guys maybe saw my hot dog socks that I'm wearing. Yeah, I'm a fashionista. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Um... All right, so let's get started. So this is Jarvis Johnson. Um, looks like he's got 2 million views. 2 million views, subscribers. Um, so this is all his stuff. Like I said, if I'm going to be watching their video, um, and this has been out for a little bit, so you know, if you should still go watch it, watch his other stuff, he's a really cool dude. Um, let's go to uh, YouTube. So this is his, um, looks like his podcast. Here's his socials. Lucky guy, got them all just under Jarvis. Um, looks like he has another channel too. So yeah, this is about the whatever podcast, I believe. I'm sorry, I have this weird hate obsession with these people because it is just like, I just cannot believe the nonsense that they spew out. And I love that other people see it, especially other men. So, like, Noah Sampson, Jarvis Johnson, obviously, like, Hassan Navi does it, Hassan, whatever. Um, and then we have Funky Frogbait. She does a lot of that stuff. I God, I love Funky Frogbait. She's, oh, they're so funny. I just love it. All right. So, without further ado. Time. Because we are currently in a podcasting renaissance for dudes with terrible opinions. And yep. this is why women should stop having sex. It's scientific. Yep. Have you heard this? No. Studies have recently shown that women who engage in sexual activity are at increased risk of ruining the vibe. <laughs> I know that's right. Uh, I'm gonna be using the um, brush pens right now just to outline my ghosty ghosts. You know, that reminds me because I heard a guy shouting on the subway this morning, <laughs> King, that women are actually a psyop from the government what to mind control society and that is why they have boobs we got to get this guy on now i don't know where this trend started probably like 34 ad but i know it's reached a boiling point recently with fresh and fit which as far as i can tell is a which podcast is about calling women dumb this is, is their podcast that you can be dumb as a girl like and make like, it through life bro. What? What? fresh and fit revolutionized the misogyny podcast format instead of just having two men talk amongst themselves about the or whatever they bring on 10 women to talk over and when they're not yelling at them they're asking the women leading questions about promiscuity if you didn't care and it didn't matter you would say your body count but it does matter which is why you don't want to say it no it's point. just because right, it's private whether they would give up instagram for a man i think if you're in a serious relationship with a girl she should not have an instagram that's cheating especially if she has scantily clad photos of herself on the internet and she's not making money off of it which a lot of women tend to do and why their standards are too high do you think women in general today are um, realistic or delusional about their dating standards on um, what they want and what they think they deserve? They ask them the same questions over and over, and then they go on forever, forever about the stupidest stuff. 
And if the women disagree with the host or he just got up on the wrong side of the bench press, they get kicked off the show. <laughs> There's a full supercut of Myron getting emotional and kicking women off the show. Men overwhelmingly prefer a girl that is not promiscuous and doesn't come with a past. Okay. That's a fact. That's not my opinion or what I think. It's men, if given the chance, yes. would okay. prefer a girl that isn't promiscuous. Okay. Or has a past. Okay. So that's not small minded. Okay. Yo, get the f off the show, bro. Because that's what big strong men do when faced with adversity. Do you they kick their enemies off their podcast. It's a tale as old as time. Et tu, Brutus? Get out of the studio, Caesar. Bro, just let me finish talking about these aqueducts. I unplugged your mic. Bro, that's just rude. <laughs> uh, okay, Al. <laughs> but I don't want to talk about fresh and fit anymore. No because it's too black. That's a joke, of course, but where the Fresh and Fit podcast is shot at night, often has on women of color to embarrass, and stars two black guys named Myron and Fresh. The Whatever podcast, which the rest of this video is about, is the exact opposite. It's shot in the day, there are far fewer guests of color, and it's hosted by a white guy named Brian. Though, yeah. for flavor, he does stylize his name as Brixen. I don't know why. But what I do know is that they're gentrifying misogyny podcasts now, and that's cool. Oh, and for those who are getting a little uncomfortable right now, I'm allowed to make these jokes because I don't know if you noticed, but I also have a podcast. But before we get into that, let's talk about I today's sponsor, Factor. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals Factor, easier than ever by preventing Best of all, enjoy. For me, is delivering 30 something new in my channel. Jeff's has, that's my name, for 50% factor75.com and use promo code factor for sponsoring this video dominance uh, back to the video instead of yelling at his guest to assert his masculine dominance like fresh and fit brian grumbles meekly while looking off screen for reassurance their co-hosts also share similarities fresh who has a real name i presume but they just call him fresh is mostly a background Coconut. player to myron and often defers Coconut. to his lead on the flip side brian's co-host is also deferential to his lead by virtue of the fact that she is a sex doll named kiki i'm your host brian atlas i'm joined by my co-host kiki she's a, bit shy. she's a bit shy okay a few quick announcements brian introduces her like that in every episode and it's, <laughs> oh, it's so funny dude <laughs> the format of the whatever podcast may sound familiar to you the host brings on a panel of entirely too many guests stretching the limits of how many sure sm7b's can fit on a table the show then asks incredibly original and hard-hitting questions like what is your body count yes. what's your body count should you pay body on the first date what's your body would you give up Instagram for a man? So would you get rid of your Instagram or social media for a marriageable man? In this last one I've <laughs> never heard before, why are women's standards so high? An investigation. You know, for a podcast about modern dating, they sure do talk a lot about for, like, traditional values. For some of these cheeks. Women have such like unfairness equal. towards yeah, men. Yeah, yeah. Like I understand like um, the draft. I was oh, actually, instead of what using that paint, you mentioned the draft, so yes, men are the exclusive paint. subjects I to use military as much conscription. As I can. Women are entirely exempt. Men throughout all of human existence have been 99.99. And they always do the boom, 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 uh, you know, the alpha male. And military um, casualties. Just on this sole grievance, I would say that the suffering men have experienced when it comes to warfare outweighs all of women's collective grievances. No, they're probably a thousand times over i'd encourage all of you to we watch all, all quiet on, on the west all quiet on the western front guarantee he has not read that book because literally that whole book is like explaining as to why like how awful war is and what it can do and it explains like the like the journey of a young oh my god i read that book such a good book such a sad movie like I, can't. I do love listening to talk of the horrors of war while the drop comes in. So in this clip, the guest acknowledges that war is bad and a, a mandatory conscription is a form of oppression and is asking for other forms of oppression that men face. And Brian's response is to just go on and on about the draft. Also, pencil. women weren't really allowed to serve in combat True. throughout history in America, at least, you know, because... They were supposed to be rearing children and taking care of the home. One of and when they could America. enlist, it was as a secretary or a nurse. Oh, and to do combat, they would have to pull a Mulan. Or a she's the man, depending on how aggressive you view men's soccer. Also, yeah. the reaction shots here are like exclusively of women giving blank stares. While Brian goes on and on about the draft, which I'm sure a lot of women recognize this stare. 
And it's funny yeah. to me because they edited this themselves. <laughs> Brian does not come off well in this. And this is on the official TikTok page. He really told those ladies about men suffering. I don't know that he did. So you said one of your big issues is that men cheating, right? If you could find a guy that you, let's say in magical world, you guaranteed knew that he would never cheat on you. His I one condition though, that. is that you could not go out to bars, clubs and parties. Yeah, because anywhere, you don't trust ever. them. Would you be with that man? No, no. absolutely not. Oh, there it is. Man. There it what is. What do you mean? Of there it is. There it is. Not... Like, no, because there, his assumption is that when women go out to bars, literally the only reason why they're there is to get hit on by men, to um, flirt with men, to get free drinks from men, and blah, blah, blah. It's like, have you not seen the countless videos where, like, men will try to go up to women and they just curb them because they're like, no, I'm here to have a good fucking time, not to have some dude, like, trying to drape over me. And guess what? If you want a dude drape over you, that's your own damn preference. It's, it's not. not it's it's not. Welcome back to Women Be crazy contestant like, too. I'm a final question but I would you give up all of your personal of freedoms for a man who takes out the trash let's be real no there it is got her guards take her away hey that's all we have for this week on women be crazy tune in next week where we ask three hot singles if they spend a year in a dungeon for their man's fantasy team see you next time it's so funny to me that the context for finding a man who doesn't cheat is a magical world like it's so unbelievable it's fiction the mythical wizarding world has everything which is warlocks a guy who keeps it in his pants fantasies of your wildest imagination bam hello fresh guys shrimp spaghetti with the kick is what we're gonna make you guys know that hello fresh makes cooking dinner easy fun and affordable no let's do this we want everything factor is already for jarvis I'd also like to point out the guy at the end of this clip. It's not. It's, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> you're literally it's controlling what your significant other can do <laughs> because of your own insecurity that they'll cheat on you. It's textbook controlling behavior. Are I don't know what to tell you, Chase. So but hey, these guys always claim that they're being taken out of context on clips that they edit themselves. So I went ahead and found the full episode, which was not easy, by the way. It's not like it's labeled or anything i had no, to go sometimes they had, like, one by one weird... and when i finally found it the episode was three and a half hours long and the yeah, context no, and was worse not... they're not only just three hours a lot of times they're like five hours long and a, like he has said on the show before he's like this is like an eight to nine hour commitment blah 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 and i'm like who wants to spend eight hours going to a shitty ass podcast sitting there being belittled berated whatever and then you just have to drive home after that like fuck no i wouldn't want to do that uh, it's, it's here. not here, here, here's the thing here's what brian's getting at okay if i find a girl that i want to make my wife and i find her super make attractive your wife <laughs> okay yeah because that's what i would do i would make her my wife yeah because that's what i would do i would make her my wife jessica is that your name yeah that's my name i'd like to make you my wife oh i mean i'm flattered but we just met. not asking guards hey you are a feminist you're 100 percent <laughs> that is you are a little feminist aren't you look at me equal rights he has opinions oh, okay. this is He's adorable so if i found some great woman she's beautiful i want to make her my wife okay if she's like, yeah, I, I want to go out to clubs all the time without you. It's like, okay, I, I, I don't want that because there's what a, oh my God, I can't. beautiful women go to clubs. And there's a do. difference if somebody's like, I want to go clubbing. I want to go clubbing seven days a week. Um, and all I'm going to do is just club and drink. Yeah, no, I don't think a lot of people would like that. Like, if that's not what you want, then don't get with somebody like that. But, like, if somebody's like, yeah, sometimes on the weekends I like to go with my girls and my guys and just hang out and just have a good time. Like, I don't understand why they're so insecure that they can't trust their significant other just to go out to somewhere where, yes, there's alcohol involved, but that means that you just don't trust your partner. And I, even I had to come to that acceptance because... I had an ex before where if he went out without me, like literally the whole time, I'd be like, oh my God, what if he cheats on me? What if he cheats on me? Yada, yada. And then I would be like, wait, like there was one time where I was finally like, wait, why would I think that? Like, unless he's, I, he's already done something to like make me not be like believe in him, then why should I not trust that he can go to a bar with his friends and just have a good time? Like if somebody comes up to him, I should have enough trust in him that he would be like, Oh, I'm flattered, but I have 
a girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like, it's not that hard. And they make it sound like it, that's, like, impossible for people to do. It's so fucking weird. Hit on by Chad's. And I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want a Chad to steal my wife. There's no way my wife could resist a Chad. Yeah. Look at him. This worldview is so common in these circles, and it's rooted in insecurity. Like, if your girlfriend is getting attention from men, which you feel is threatening, and your response oh, yeah. is to the... control her access to the Not world, so then that's just on. controlling and very insecure. This woman then clarifies that she's away. only talking about going out with her friends, but that shouldn't even matter because if your relationship is only surviving because your girlfriend hasn't been in the same room as a Chad, yeah. then you're in the wrong relationship. Trust is a fundamental part of relationships, and these men seem to fundamentally lack it. They believe that if their partner tells them that they won't cheat then they're fucking lying and they're actually lying. always looking to cheat and so then they have to quote unquote mitigate risk but i'm sorry that's just a bananas way to live your life yeah. here's an idea trust your partner and if they break that trust have a conversation or break up it is a much healthier alternative than locking them in a anti-chad fortress if you go out once or twice a year with like it's some birthday party i think that would be okay right Chase? yeah it's fine i'm not saying you can't go anywhere you can go to one or two birthday parties a year right chase like this woman has to ask brian and chase if she's allowed to go outside these guys are so transparently sad i don't know why they don't realize that the hottest most confident thing a man can be is by trusting their partner being like yeah. oh yeah babe go have fun go do whatever because mm -hmm we have such a strong relationship that we're always going to come back to each other yeah, and there's there's love and trust between yeah. us you know what i mean or you could even be like oh yeah nobody does it like me babe i'm like the best in town all of this i'm so sorry by the way nobody's gonna cheat this on that i'm so sorry by and the if way. she does she's missing out on all of have i mentioned all of this <laughs> they're so threatened by a woman's this? independence and it, it's really like i don't know it reveals a lot about their worldview i don't go to bars clubs Every time I paint, parties I always, like, I always, like, so stuff, i think all that's I hear the is, case with chase too is. by the way not going out is fine too. preferring a partner with similar like habits is fine <laughs> But the projection happening here is uh, 4K HD. It's showing, it's in IMAX. We're in a theater. It's in the, in the it, it is projecting. You see the, the simile? Also, Brian does go to bars. And I know this because he tells the saddest stories about it. If a woman goes to a bar club, one guy, at least one guy, a couple it. guys are gonna hit on her. Also the sex doll thing and the fact that they cut to the sex dolls in their shorts as if to get a reaction shot is like, the most like transparent objectification of women the woman that co-hosts his podcast is actually an object you know what i mean like that's ridiculous that's a little on the nose i think if a guy goes to a bar or club just goes in the corner right nobody's gonna talk to him the entire night he's gonna sit there stand there all alone he's just gonna be in a corner and no one's gonna talk to him the entire night no one's gonna ask him about his podcast or where we got so many cool flannel shirts. They'll just look and they'll point and they'll say, look at that loser, Brian. Uh, <clears throat> look at that loser, Ryan. That's his name. His name is different than mine because he's not me. This time you can even he's see the women me. holding back a laugh because of how pathetic this is. Official TikTok, by the way. The whole podcast feels like him describing his negative experiences with women and then looking for their validation. So are you guys familiar with the dating app Bumble? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So, so Bumble <laughs> is a dating app where the girl has to message first. Very familiar. And uh, I was on there for a bit. I'm not on there anymore. But my experience on Bumble is finally, women, y'all have the power. <laughs> If you have an hour this week, you can learn a hundred songs on the piano by learning just four chords. These. I went up to them and talked to them. Ninety percent of the first messages I got were. Hey, and I had a fucking interesting as fuck profile too. <laughs> that you did. Like if it was me that seeing that did. profile, I could come up with like 10 different things I could mm -hmm. open up with. My profile was interesting as fuck, dude. I had theorems, postulates. I was like, there was a map to a treasure. Not to mention a photo of me holding a big fish. And all you can say is, hey, <laughs> women don't, they don't deserve right. Right, ladies? Now that you've gotten a bit of a taste of whatever it is they're cooking, let's look at the raw ingredients that make up 
be whatever smoothie. You've got Brian on the mic. His laptop held up by some of the great wars of history. World War I, World War II, A Song of Ice and Fire, Game of Thrones, George R.R. R. Martin. You've got Kiki on the mic. She's shy. She's also not on the mic. In this corner, you've got OnlyFans models and literal college students. Yeah, they college think they're on a fun show about dating, but surprise, they're going to debate Chase. On every episode, there's always a Chase. And by Chase, I mean a conservative content creator who Brian has brought on to debate his guests for him because he's not so good at it. Um, this isn't always the case, but more often than not, the show devolves into Brian's conservative guests debating with sex workers and college girls who are just trying to have a good time. I like yeah, they're like, out. I'm just when living my out, life, I'm dude. And he's like, you're a whore. Yeah. I'm not going out looking to flirt. I want to dance. That's what I girls say. Time. Like, Mr. Make You My Wife, cool Chase, flirt. is a super conservative My god name. guy on Twitter with a big following and hashtag pure blood in his bio, which I thought was a race thing, but it turns out it's just a COVID thing. Awesome. Oh, and hashtag Bitcoin. Awesome. Why is it always crypto bros? <laughs> I, I did, they're catching a stray here for some reason. And then of course he had on that guy that defended domestic abuse, trigger warning for that. Oh, you can't divorce and that's not a real yeah, thing. Yeah, MLD is one of the biggest like pieces of shit in the entire world. People are too- People, yeah. people are now nowadays people are, gonna be honest. are just- Right. He is the one that sits there and he complains about women doing all this stuff, yet he's had like lipo and all this plastic surgery. I'm um, pretty sure he has like veneers. Um, but yeah, it's like, I just, I can't, I can't. Situation, what would you recommend? Okay, you you're you sure? The whole squad is weird. I found this expired casting call for the podcast where they really just say it's a podcast about modern dating and relationships. So it did say that you could bring a girlfriend with you, but what it didn't say is that if you carpool, Brian will kick you all out together. Leave. This is Sparta! All right, I have to take her with me. That's fine. So stay woke. That please. girl where she was like, I have to take her with me. She ends up flashing the podcast, which I think he like ended up suing. I don't know if he ended up taking legal action against her. It wouldn't surprise me if he if he did, but yeah, she ended up flashing the podcast, um, which I don't think was very I get it. She was mad, but it's just like I guess I'm trying to be devil's advocate for somebody who really doesn't deserve it. An Uber. But I do think the majority of the guests come from Instagram. I know that the show does reach out to people, but also they encourage people to reach out to them. And why would someone do that? Well, for the models on OnlyFans, despite the fact that they're getting shamed on the show, it I've heard that it can lead to some pretty good conversion for their platform. And it's funny how that works. Interesting. Some of the women even use this as an opportunity to Uno reverse the show yeah. and farm them a lot of for viral TikTok. Who are like the ladies to rate their looks on a scale of one, one to ten. One. What? Come on. One. I mean, isn't this a humbleness test? Like you say something over Go six and they off. humble you anyway. Yeah, but I. Is that too low? Five. Yeah, but. You see, you you're not supposed thing. to know. I asked Farha, the person from this clip, why she went on the whatever podcast. And she said, I was surprised at how shaky the host values <laughs> slash how easily debunkable slash inconsistent oh. so much of his talking points are. It really just surprised me that a podcast like this is popular in this day and age and the theme slash concept feels so outdated. So basically I went on to go and say obvious things that debunk the show. Even though Brian may deny it, the show clearly has an agenda, which you can tell from like everything they've ever produced. She thinks dating is hard for women. LOL. He like had to let you know what his opinion was. It's pretty yeah, funny. Like stupid. you could just left it. She oh, rates herself a 10. Delusion. Brian kicked out. Disrespectful girl. Must watch. Vibe is so bad. It's really not. You're the one who made it all. It's been bad the whole time. And I'm sorry. That it was bad so when people started pretty. disagreeing We're with me. Sorry. And okay. you're saying yeah. really you can leave. So Get up. Leave. Mad because she's like, you know, she looks like she's like into the anime. Okay. Stuff. You can leave. You can leave. Wait, what? I thought she said you were shaking. No, I was checking on you. Rage quit. <laughs> Wow. I'm trespassing you, you now have to leave. I'm trespassing you now. Get out. I can't give her my number. No, you have to leave. Damn. Oh yeah, she was so disrespectful. Oh my god, dude, so so disrespectful. Last but certainly least is the chat. The show is live streamed, which allows you to see the women hating in real time and donate, of course. <laughs> Oh, sorry, and he gets a lot a of donations. There's this one guy named Mike who just, apparently he owns like a whole bunch of Burger Kings and he never want to eat Burger King ever again. 
And my all chemical he does is just it's like that, I guess that's your nickname. By the way, can I? Um, can you give me one of those um, <laughs> those fingerless gloves for me to wear? Uh, the chat behavior typically goes like this: If a man is speaking, it's W man, big W Chad, and then if a woman is talking, they'll say dumb lady, bad lady. And then they'll spam 304, which is a little code. code. And it's Ew. the most middle school shit I've ever seen. So. I also saw okay. 304 in the chat. What, does what that does 304 mean? mean? Area code, probably. Does... Here's one I thing you need to do before <laughs> buying anything it. online. I don't, don't know if he knew what it was, but he said it was such like confidence. Watch this but, first. Watch um, this. I thought it was the well, area code for a minute, but it's not. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> Nice. They don't know. They don't know. That's the joke. For those who don't have their TI-84 Silver Edition on hand, if you type 304 into a calculator and turn it upside down, it spells ho. Oh. So thanks for coming to class today. There will be a quiz. Mm -hmm. 304 caught lying on whatever podcast. 304 with double standards. It's like everywhere. It's like a universal code for incels. <laughs> 304 is a little nostalgic for me because it takes me back to a more wholesome time where we used to spell hello and boobs in our calculator. Sounds like these guys need a 5318804. Hobbies. The chat is another example of Brian being a meek little worm. He won't come out and body shame his guests himself, but if someone in the chat does it, he'll laugh at it. Oh, yeah. Or he'll offer Love his full-throated support for the low, low cost of $99. Fat phobia incoming, by the way. Astrology oh. because... Hold on just a sec. Mike Davis donated $200. Yep. Thank you, Mike, Mike Davis. Davis. I don't mean to make this personal, but only in this Western backward culture can a hippo have a roster. And these females who will shriek at Mike Davis were seconds away from bursting in laughter, so Real. STF you. Sorry, up. just addressing the elephant in the room. Mm. <laughs> 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 Do you ever, that's obviously directed towards you. I uh, love how it interrupts the flow of conversation. You. Hang on just a sec, everybody. Touchgrass69 just sent us $200 to say the most evil shit in the world. And I'm gonna let him. This happens throughout the show. In fact, I would say it's like a, a core tenant of the show that there's just a gaggle of guys sitting around spending hundreds of dollars to virtually catcall and heckle women paying an influencer for exclusive access to their content i don't know bro sounds like simp behavior to me but even worse than that mm -hmm. some guys will spend hundreds of dollars throughout the course totally of an episode no to have an can, ongoing like, conversation with the panel i watched someone do this in a four hour episode he was asking the women to rate his appearance and it culminated in one of the saddest screenshots of all time youtube has a max of 500 dollars a day i can't give any more money please have the girls rate me <laughs> please i would give more but the website won't let me please please tell me if i'm hot or not i just feel like it's please. relevant to consider the community being fostered here where a bunch of lost men are hating on women oh, that they privately no. seek the approval of or publicly yeah, for <laughs> for $500. The only fans now are cheaper by the way. And you, they let you know. And on all. top of all of this, the podcast is so boring. Yeah, and, nine and no one to, seems to be having a good time. There's one time where Brian I saw this is, girl just literally just being like Like, oh my God, she was totally off. I'm pretty sure that's Mike Davis. The most reluctant misogyny profiteer that I have ever seen. And I'm not even convinced that he believes what he's saying. I don't like these terms like alpha and high value or what high is status. It? Is it a red, red pill? pill man or what is it? Red what do you guys okay. call Yeah, and he has a red pill. pill. I even saw that you retweeted. He has a picture of a red pill in a hand behind in like behind there. A video of someone, you know, of one of the hosts calling Somebody one made of the it. girls Why a dumb bitch watch and that? it goes into the meta of the person Freedom watching it calling the girl a dumb bitch and then it goes into the meta of someone watching and calling that a dumb bitch. You know what the show does. You know what it is. Wait, you, did I even, re I don't know if I retweeted that. I'm not sure if I reposted that on my Twitter feed. However, sure. if you're talking about the Freedom Tunes cartoon, it doesn't, it, which whether is or not satirical, you which was not produced by whatever. So you, you don't think that anyone watches that show, this show for that? for what at least on shows like fresh and fit yeah. there's some dynamism to the host <laughs> like they're the worst people you've ever seen or heard this is but the hey part I'm gonna they're charismatic in, in contrast brian is just flat even the title of the show is right just now, whatever <laughs> you know he's like if toby yeah, from the office hated women it's not even entertaining when he kicks people off i've chosen to redirect the con the conversation you can either accept that or you can leave your choice yeah for people out there who like 
are listening to this, I'm, I'm literally about to leave. Get out. Yeah, I'm out. Get out. Brian couldn't even put down the fork. <laughs> and then, of course, this woman drove two of the other guests. Peace out. Oh, he's so. He always thinks he's so cool when he does that. See ya. Gross. I'm gonna get up too, but thank you for having me. Okay. It was nice meeting you. you and see, this girl was so sweet to him. Too, but thank you for having me. Okay. You can it was leave. It's nice meeting you. Okay. You can leave. Like she literally did nothing. No, nah, you can't sit here. You gotta get out. You gotta get out. What? We drove together. Okay. Make it a... This whole squad leaving or what? Well, we got make, a whole squad. They make it a hat together. trick then. He is so proud of himself for kicking three people off. But it's, it's like a technicality because she drove the other two. Oh, is that a hat trick? It's like, oh, I'm so cool, dude. I'm a football star because I kicked off three ladies from my podcast. It's like, <laughs> it's the title of the episode. Heated debate, three girls kicked off, hat trick. Please take yourself seriously. You did not kick three people off. The no, other two are a technicality. To I'm not even convinced that he is doing this for any reason other than the fact that Fresh and Fit also do it. Shout yeah, out to Fresh and Fit it. with inspiration. Check them out on YouTube. I watched my friend Noah's video that briefly touched on this, but it's funny to see that this man's own audience is starting to turn on him for not being masculine enough. And I can't feel bad because because he's been profiting off of this, which is Apparently sad because at the end of the day, pain, it seems though. like a guy half-heartedly going for a cash grab, he which he's done before because prior to issues. the whatever podcast, Brian made prank videos. Oh. And hey, aren't misogyny podcasts the prank videos of the 2020s? Okay, bye. So yeah, that was Jarvis's video on that. I think I'll probably do something, figure out something else that I want to watch for a little bit. I just don't want to keep watching the same stuff over again like we get it the they're crazy um so i um am going to head on out i'm gonna do a stream later i actually think that i'm gonna do one i know people are doing this a lot but i want to do one where i'm watching hell's kitchen i love gordon ramsay gordon ramsay is like one of my favorite people ever so i'm gonna watch some gordon ramsay um after this i do my dog walking thing um, I don't know if I'll be doing any art. I'm, <laughs> I did this, kind of messed it up. I don't know what I'm going to do with this black space, but this is what I ended up doing. I know it's nothing special. I just wanted something cute to hang up on my wall for Halloween. Um, I have a whole art wall. I guess I'll have to show you guys that somehow. Um, and then I think I'm going to start doing streams where I leave my cam on so that, um, you guys can watch my dogs or, or my dog or my cat. Cause, um, I've been coming home and finding like things all over the place or it's just wildness and I want to just see what my dog is up to and I think it'd be funny if I just like left my stream on all day so um I'm gonna be doing that as well so uh I see another person is watching thank you for watching me um and like I said I'll be back on for um some house kitchens so thank you so much